Hello, welcome everyone. This is Jordan Berry, Instructional Designer at Hack, and this video is designed to give you an overview of D2L's Calendar Tool, which is a great way to communicate all of your course's assignment due dates to help keep your students organized and on track. So let's begin. Once you've logged into your D2L shell, you'll notice that by default, there's a calendar widget placed on the right hand side of your home page. We'll see it displays the date, and below, we'll see that there's an upcoming events section. As of now, we have no events displaying to us or the students. But we can create a new one by clicking on this link here that says create a new event. So now we're brought to a new create event page. This is where we can customize what will appear in our students calendars. We'll see that at the top, we can add a title for this event or we can link this event to a piece of content in our content area if we already have one created. What that means is, if we want, we can give students reminders for when they should have completed readings or viewing specific instructional content that we've created. So let's take a look at that. We'll click Add Content and a pop-up appears. So now the modules and submodules that I've created will show up and I can choose a piece of content to link this calendar item to if I want. In this case, we'll choose the Science of Structure article and we'll click Add. We can add a description here if we want, and we can choose who is going to see this item appear on their calendar. This is for if you have groups set up in D2L and you only want certain groups to see this information. I'm gonna leave the default set to everybody in this course offering because I don't have any groups set up. Now we can choose when calendar events appear and disappear from view all the way down to the minute if we deselect this all day option. So here we can input our dates and times. And we can make this reoccur if we want by clicking add recurrence. We can also add restrictions to this item by clicking this button here. What that means is that we can choose when the event will show up on the student's calendars. Let's say I want this hidden until seven days before the event starts. Great. We can add a location if we want. Maybe if you have a meeting off campus or if you wanted to add a Zoom link for your lecture class, we can input that here. Then we'll hit create. Now it shows up on our calendar as an all day event. Let's see how it looks on the home page. We'll click Course Home, and we'll see that the reading is appearing on the upcoming events for today. If I click it, we'll see some details here, and we can even click the link. So this is what students will also see on their end. Now additionally, when we create assessments within D2L, like a quiz, Dropbox, or discussion board, we can have that appear on our calendar as well without having to go through the process of creating a new calendar item. Let's take a look, for example, at a quiz. So we'll click on the quizzes option in the nav bar, and we'll go into a quiz that I've already created by clicking on it. Now at the top, we'll see a restrictions tab. All of D2L's assessment tools have restrictions tabs. Basically, it allows us to choose when we want that assessment object to appear and disappear from the student's view. It's also an area in which we can have it appear as an event on our calendar. So let's see, let's make this quiz have a due date of tomorrow at 11.30 p.m. And to allow us to add it to the calendar, we need to make it have an availability date. So when it's going to appear for the student's view. We'll say that the start date for when it will appear is now, and it'll choose the current date and time. Now, we don't have to give it an end date or when it will disappear from view, so I'm going to leave it alone like it is, but just so you know that you can add an end date for when this quiz item will disappear from student's view if you'd like. Now I'm going to click Display in Calendar and hit Save and Close. Now we'll see that the due dates appear at the bottom of this quiz item, and we'll click Course Home to see how that displays in the calendar. And there it is. If students click on it, they'll be able to see when it is due, when it's available, and they can even click on the link to bring them to the quiz itself. All right, so there it is. That's the calendar tool in a nutshell. If you run into any difficulties, please feel free to reach out to the CDI team for assistance at any time. All the best.